How does the KA-52 Alligator compare to the Boeing AH-64E Apache? Known to the world's most feared attack helicopters, there has been a debate about their overall performance as to which is better. Well, in today's video, we'll present you guys a comparison of these two famous attack helicopters in the world. We will include a combined score of performance, firepower, protection, avionics, and many more. Do not miss this! The AH-64E helicopter is the latest version of the AH-64. It is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement which is built for the US Army. The Kamov Ka-52 Alligator, on the other hand, is a Russian attack helicopter with the distinctive coaxial rotor system of the Kamov Design Bureau. It is capable of operating in both daytime and at night. Both the helicopters are operated by a crew of two, including a pilot and a gunner. The unit cost of AH-64E Apache is 36 million US dollars as of 2014. This is much expensive compared to the 52 Alligator, which cost only 16 million US dollars as of May 2011. As for their dimensions, the AH-64E Apache is just a little bigger compared to the Kamov. Their length measures 17.7 meters and 16 meters, and their height measures 5 meters and 4.95 meters, and the rotor diameters are 14.6 meters and 14.5 meters. Although their sizes are almost the same, but the empty weight of the KE-52 Alligator is nearly 3 tons heavier than the Apache, while the maximum takeoff weight of the Apache is just a little lesser than the Kamov. The AH-64E Apache has a rate of climb of 14 meters per second, while the KA-52 has a rate of climb of 10 meters per second. Talking about power, the Apache is powered with a pair of General Electric T700 GE701D turbo shafts, which produces an output of 1,994 shaft horsepower each. While the Kamov is powered with a pair of TV3117 VMA turbo shafts, which produces 2,200 shaft horsepower each. With this power, the former can fly up to a maximum in cruising speeds of 300 and 275 km per hour, while the latter can fly at 310 and 250 km per hour. When it comes to range, the 52 Alligator can fly more distances compared to the 64E Apache. They almost have the same combat radius, but in terms of ferry range, however, the Kamov is way lesser compared to the Apache. The AH-64E Apache can fly up to a maximum altitude of 6,400 meters, while the KA-52 Alligator can fly only up to 5,500 meters. Those are differences in general performance, now let's talk about the armament. The Apache is armed with a single 30mm M230 chain gun with 1,200 rounds as part of the area weapon subsystem, anti-tank missiles like 16 AGM 114L Hellfire 2, air-to-air -air missiles include 4 AIM-92 Stinger or 2 AIM-9 Sidewinder, anti-radiation missiles include 2 AGM-122 Sidearm, rockets include Hydra 70 APKWS 70mm. The KA-52 Alligator, on the other hand, is armed with a 30mm Shipunov 2A-42 automatic cannon fitted on the starboard side of the fuselage, six laser-guided Vicure anti-tank missiles that can penetrate 1,000mm of steel armor behind explosive reactor armor, Ataka missiles with laser-guided systems, S-880 mm air-to-surface rockets for Iglov air-to-air missiles. Now let's talk about the protection. Well, there are numerous features to protect the crew and increase survivability of the Apache. The airframe is designed to withstand hits from guns of up to 12.7mm caliber. Rotor blades can withstand hits from 23mm guns. A large flat plate canopy is fitted with boron armor and crew members are seated on crash-resistant seats. The AH-64E has infrared-suppressing exhaust system and is equipped with shaft and flare dispensers. Both of these features combined reduce the chance of being hit by an enemy air defense missiles. 
As for the alligator, extensive all-round armor were installed in the cockpit which protects the pilot against 12.7mm armor-piercing bullets and 23mm projectile fragments. The rotor blades are rated to withstand several hits of ground-based automatic weapons and other survivability features include twin-engine design for redundancy protection for vital aircraft systems and crash-absorbing land gear and fuselage. Also, the coaxial main rotor configuration does not require tail rotor which can improve survivability. The AH-64 was designed to perform in frontline environments and to operate at night or day during adverse weather conditions. Various sensors and onboard avionics allow the Apache to perform in these conditions. Such systems include the Target Acquisition and Designation System, Pilot Night Vision System Passive Infrared Countermeasures. One of the coolest things about the Apache is its sophisticated sensor equipment. The Longbow Apache detects surrounding ground forces, aircraft and buildings using a radar dome mounted to the mast. The radar dome uses millimeter radio waves that can make out the shape of anything in range. An advantage of the millimeter wave is that it performs under poor visibility conditions and is less sensitive to ground clutter. The Longbow-equipped Apaches can locate up to 256 targets simultaneously within 50 kilometers. The helicopter is also equipped with a ground fire acquisition system, which detects and targets ground-based weapon fire sources in all light conditions and with a 120-degree visual field. The KA-52 helicopter, on the other hand, is fitted with a mast-mounted radome housing a Fezzatron FH-01mm wave radar with two antennas for aerial and ground targets. The countermeasures are supported by active IR and electronic jammers, laser detection system, IR missile approaching warning sensor and UV-26 flare or shaft dispensers and wingtip fairings. The Camel also has a radar warning receiver that monitors and detects the environment and enemy's radars. It also uses electronic jamming system that radiates interfering signals towards enemy radars and blocking the receiver with concentrated signals. The multifunctional avionics suite of this helicopter consists of a multi-level digital computer-based system, a topo helmet-mounted sight display, observation, surge and targeting systems. The multiplex bus system coordinates several tasks including piloting, navigation and weapons control on the battlefield. Other systems include navigation and attack system for helicopters and a DIRT-10 navigation system. One advantage of the AH-64E is that it can receive video and data from drones and some can control the drone sensors and flight paths. The KA-52 may boast more firepower and be more maneuverable than the AH-64, but the Apache's increasing drone capability could really change the way close air support is conducted. Anyway, who do you think is winning here? Please comment down in the comment section below and thank you so much for viewing in, bye bye!